<laughs> oh my god, fuck out this boy. Yeah, this is the review uh Shibone episode nine or yeah, nine I think. I, I hope I'm saying it right, but nine. This episode like, like it was a lot about their plan. The main villain antagonist in this series, Honor's Exception well obsession I, 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 yeah, okay. And a trap. So yeah, like So Socks is using a plan to where the they're gonna use Tugashi's dirty underwear to lure out the to the soft fabrics or the fabrics pervert in the school. It didn't, it didn't work the first time because Anna got in the way and yeah, like that 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 scene. I'm ready for it. To, I'm ready for it to get uncensored. I'm ready to see that uncensored. Nest of Anna and oh my god, like Anna is on point in this episode as always. A little creepy, but on point as always. It's just being his underwear. Like some kind of pervert. And Kosuri is just like screwing up their plan because she's going behind her back and going to Fuka, also a best girl, to like want to like get her into socks. And, like, this is a bunch of mess, this episode. And, like, I enjoyed every bit of it. But, like... And... Man. Freaking... Like, like we haven't seen out of Mom in an episode yet. Like, we seen her a little bit, her second and third episode. I think the sixth episode, but that was all. But, like, she needs to come up with a new plan or something, because this man antagonist looks dirty. <laughs> like, he's like, he's probably more perverted than Master Roshi, I would say. Like, I wouldn't say that, but, like, if there was a freaking margin rating, he's covered in underwear. Master Roshi is the greatest pervert in anime history, next to Jiraiya, and, yeah. Like, God, he's, he's, he's in a covered in underwear. A freaking panty wine. What the fuck? <laughs> and man, like I really want, like he's using and freaking, freaking, a freaking the main character is using techniques that aren't used on him. He's going in, laying people out, one right and left, do blue out. I mean, not blue out. I'm just gonna blue out for it. blue snow. Let's go out, fulfilling out pictures. And it's just one girl who's always like in the episode, like she's in almost every episode of the series. Like, is she gonna be a member of Sox? Is she gonna be a main character? Like, is she just gonna be like one character that that reappears constantly during the season? And Misu Kage is a boy. Like, damn, I, I, I should have saw that coming, but I didn't see it coming at, at all. With that blackout, because she's it, it's just freaking down balls to the freaking ground and turn off with all he's <laughs> he's all sweaty and shit and like 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 I like I guess it's a good thing but a bad thing also with Mr. Kage because like if I don't want to be a, if I don't want him to be a boy she, I, he will be a boy if she wants him to be a girl she will be I, she, I, he will be a girl oh well that's so sorry for the guy. Like I do, well, just me Kake, because, like, I feel sorry for the guy, like, he has to, like, he protects her, we don't know if it's, like, some kind of ambition, his purpose, or was it, like, like, was he, like, hired? I want more about story on him, and I want to see Tongshi meet his dad, somehow, like, I don't know why, but I do. <laughs> But this episode was really good. And Kosori is still... Look, I don't know if I like her. But I just like her. I like her, but just like her. If that makes any sense. As always, a comment your best go down below. Have a good day and night when you live. And like, comment, subscribe for more. Have a good day and night. I'm ready for next week's episode. And have a good day and night. The... The... That... That perfect. Yeah. Have a good day and night. Bye.